It's hard to fully understand your body if you don't know about sickness behavior and how it might relate to depression. Let's talk about it. See, we like to think that it's just our immune system that helps us get over an infection when we have one, but that doesn't tell the full story. See, when our natural defenses have been breached, the immune system doesn't just go to clear the infection, it also sends out a distress signal. That includes messenger molecules called cytokines that cause our brain and nervous system to change how we behave and feel so that we can conserve energy to get over the illness. That includes reducing our exercise tolerance, our appetite, causing us to lack motivation, to have fatigue, brain fog, and to seek warmth. That can even cause us to isolate ourselves with the intention that we're not going to be spreading infection to other people. But some of these may sound familiar because they're also symptoms of depression and that matches the fact that inflammation can be chronic within the body. So scientists are looking at this cytokine model of depression to see if anti-inflammatories could accentuate the effects of antidepressants. But there may be interactions and this is still under research so always speak to your doctor before making any medication changes.